Hello and welcome to the Rogue Tech Show. I'm Tech, this is... Rogue! And you are all... Awesome! Axel has a question about monitor upgrades and computer upgrades over the next couple of years. Disclaimer, this question relates to relatively high-end computers. Yes. I will give some slightly different advice to those of you who have slightly less, not super high-end computers. This is one of those subject areas where I think a lot of people read into a message and they don't realize that there could be two completely different sets of advice based upon somebody's use case and their expectations or their outcome. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Correct. So, with no further ado... Axel has a 5950X CPU, a 3090 GPU, he's got 64 gigs of RAM, with a 4K and a 1440p high fresh screens, monitors. He's going to replace the 1440p monitor with a 4K OLED, depending on uplifts as 4K is less viable for AAA over time. He wants to know his upgrade path on the CPU and GPU over these next two years. That is one heck of a use case, 4K. That is a heck of a use case. Multiple 4K monitors can be very demanding. However, unfortunately, unlike many other questions we get, what's missing from this question? A budget. Use case. Uh, budget, um, games, and specific use case. Are you using it to make money? Are you using it as a hobby? He has a 5950X and a 3090. I hope budget's not the issue here. He's going to go 4K OLED. I, my assumption is budget's not the problem. The problem is... I mean... Is he gaming? Is it is it content creation? Well, he says AAA, but, but that's all you've got. I, okay. I, I, I didn't see AAA games. It's like my brain just erased the AAA. Fair enough. Well, no, he's not 65 and any AAA, so... <laughs> So I take that as AAA games. He's almost already overdue for an upgrade at this point then because 4K is so demanding. You have got a very demanding use case and so you need demanding, you need hardware that can keep up. A 7950X, at this point a 7950X 3D or 13900K. Yeah, or wait for the 14900K. If you're going to wait... Arrow Lake comes out next year. Yep. The 15th gen comes out next year. 14th gen this year is a refresh. Mm -hmm. It's the same as 13th gen with a clock speed bump. Mm -hmm. So 15th gen comes out next year and Zen 5 comes out next year. That'll also be on AM5, but that'll be another probably 20, 25% performance uplift. Although I hear no more cores. Hmm. And if Arrow Lake has more cores. He says he's gaming for the most part, just multitasking a lot. So not using it for work. Okay, here's a great example, and I really want Rogue to share this because we have an, a, an interesting case to compare this to. At the office, our old video editing machine, which we have not taken apart yet, is a Ryzen 9 5950X. Mm -hmm. Our new video editing PC, which we built about a month ago, has an i9-13900K. How is the general performance difference doing a variety of tasks? Again, both machines. Yep. We have three 4K 144 hertz monitors attached to each machine. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have six of them. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> but we wanted two editing machines so we could yep. be working on different things at the same time. And so making them the same screens it's makes... so much easier. Oh, my goodness. Because we tried not doing that, and that was awful. Yep. So... I got a deal on them. He did. Because that's what I do. That's what you do. So you've gone from the 5950X to the 13900K. And back again, yeah. I can do a lot more and a lot more efficient on the 13900K. I prefer to use the 13900K. I can edit. I can scrub. I can render. My computer just goes, what do you want me to do? And I'll do it. And I can do... All of it at the same time. 
on the 5950X, that's not the case. The benchmarks don't necessarily indicate a blowout difference, but actually using the two machines, there is a difference. There's yes. a responsiveness difference. There's mm -hmm. a, the 1% lows will be much better, like for gaming. Now we're talking about content creation. Correct. For gaming, the 1% lows on a 13900 k will be way better than a 5950X. Like 30 to 40% better. The average frame rates will be better. However, if you're going to replace your system, you need a 4090. I'm sorry, you're going to 4K, you're going to AAA gaming. You, you need the best video card of every generation. You need a 4090 now, and you'll need a 5090, and a 6090, and a 7090, and you'll just be buying the 90 card for like ever. Ever. So you just need a plan for that. But it sounds like you can afford to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't skip generations for cards. You can skip CPU generations. For example, if you go to a 13900K today, or if you want to wait till October, the 14900K is coming out October. It's Raptor Lake Refresh. It's the exact same chip, 24 cores, 32 threads, 8P, 16E cores. It's just about 200 megahertz faster. But if you want to wait till October, fine, do that. Then you would skip 15th and you would skip 16th because 15th and 16th, are Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake, respectively, on LGA 1851. 17th gen in 2026, three years from now, will be on a new socket. It'll be Beast Lake. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do is you'll leapfrog to that for that generation. The 5090 is due out a year from now. Uh, 15 months, October of next year. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, you could keep your 3090 till then. And if you want to, I mean, hey, what do we always say? It's your money and your computer. You can mm -hmm. do what you want. And it's your budget. It's your budget and your computer. However, the 4090 is 80 to 90% faster than a 3090. This is not a small upgrade. That is almost but not quite double the performance outright. Mm -hmm. It is a really big, serious improvement. The lower end 40 cards weren't, but the 4090 is a beast. Your 3090, you could sell it today or repurpose it, but if you wait till next year to buy a 5090, then your 3090 will honestly be worth way less money. Yeah, and so whatever you save by not making the upgrade, you kind of lose in doing that, but that's a personal preference. And then in 2026, the 6090 will come out and you will definitely buy one of those whenever you do your next system upgrade. These high-end monitors just- Are expensive. If you've got the money, Run it. If you don't, you might need to reconsider. Well, as I said at the beginning of this, this advice sounds, oh great, Tech Deals is recommending 4090s again. He's recommending 13900Ks. Not everybody has the money. Well, somebody who bought a 5950X and an RTX 3090 and 64 gigs of RAM with multiple 4K monitors who wants to go to OLED, to everybody who thinks that sounds expensive, it is, <laughs> and he's got the budget for it. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. I would remind everybody that an inexpensive 27-inch 1440p monitor can be had for $200. An RX 6700 XT can be had with 12 gigs of VRAM for $300. Mm -hmm. A i5 13600K with 300 for $300 on a $150 Z690 motherboard with a BIOS update 
with 32 gigs of DDR4, 3600 for 50 bucks, and a two terabyte Gen 4 premium NVMe drive like a Samsung 980 Pro for 100 bucks, is all you need to have fun with games. Everything beyond that is just luxury and nice to have. Well, yes. even that's luxury and nice to have. But he, he has a luxurious use case. He has the Rolls Royce of use cases. Yes, he does. But to everybody else watching this, it is possible to do this for way less money. It is. It is. There's the luxury experience, and then there's a good enough experience, a budget wise experience. I think some people would argue with the 13600K being the budget wise. You know, the true budget experience. It's an Xbox Series S well, for yeah, 200, 200 bucks. bucks exactly. 1440p gaming for 200 bucks. Oof. Wow. That does not get the level of respect it deserves. No, I don't think so. Axel, I hope we helped you out. Um, you know, everybody else, leave your comments down below and let, let us know what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? It's expensive to keep up with the with the best. It is.